Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. As usual it's me, Jay, introducing you to another midweek show. I gotta say thank you again for tuning in and putting up with me rambling at you and poorly editing videos, but the more I do the more the more practice I get, so hopefully in the future it's not gonna be so bad. But uh, yeah, that's not what you hear for. You know, you hear for me rambling. You hear to know what is happening. So today we have got another blood ball game. We have got undead versus chaos again. So I call it undead versus chaos two electric boogaloo. We are both on a little bit of a a loss streak. So it was all about redemption this week, but. I say that now because audio played up a little bit so I'm going to have to do a little bit of voiceover during it so bear with me on that one by next week um, the microphone will definitely be fixed and uh, the sound will be better so before we get into the game I want to say a big thank you to to the Ron the Gaming Club who are kind enough to put us up on a Sunday so we can record our games I want to say a big massive thank you to them because by them helping us out I am actually able to give you content so I let you know the gaming club they do uh, 40k they do AOS they do Dungeons and Dragons on Thursday they also do Pathfinder we've got a small contingent of Blood Bowl players so there's plenty of room if you guys want to come and play on a Sunday or a Thursday you, it's, details are up on the screen now we're in the Clidec area if you don't know where that is and you're in South Wales you can contact the gaming club by Facebook by Twitter or you can contact them on Instagram so get in contact if you're within the area tell them the, the Nuba sent you so they know that you listen to the channel it also puts it in good word for me when it, when I ask about recording but also if you're in the area and you want to play Blood Bowl pop over and if if you want we can record a game and put you up on the channel so you could be a legend in your own lunchtime so now that I've got the shameless plug out the way the shameless plug one of two Let's get on with tonight's show. It was at this point we realised the microphone had stopped working. So we had to try and find other means to record. So it's going to be a little bit of no audio, so I'm going to take the time to talk over. So we basically explaining how bad our losing streak are. Both losing 4-1 in our last games. So Nuff will be praised on this one. And we're going to see if Nuff will bless our dice to make sure that we have a better game. So as I said previously we're going to get on with the show and we're going to see how this match fares right then guys not for you to miss out we still video the start of the game so Griff won the coin toss and he decided to kick to me so as you can see at the end of his first turn he's started to cage up in the one corner was slowly whittling through my team because he put one of my blockers in the knockout bin right then guys end of chaos turn one and I really didn't do anything because I moved a few players 
and then couldn't roll past a attack uh, attacker down. So I'm lucky that he didn't break my armor just to really rub it in. But I'm at a slight disadvantage at the moment. So it's undead turn two. Right then, guys, end of undead turn two, and it doesn't look like anything's changed because it hasn't. One player's moved. Another player in the knockout, but he's got a player down. So, thankfully, he didn't go through my my team. So, it's going to be chaos turn two, and let's try and do some damage. Right, guys, chaos turn two over, and let's catalogue the carnage. We have. One, one guy down on the wing. We've got one guy trying to get up against the block. We've got two down being threatened to go out. One guy with his cheeks in the air. So, what have we got here? Yeah. Oh, an attacker down. It all seems to be going undead when it comes to being able to tackle but I think Nuffle has still failed me. Nuffle is not my god this uh, this game. So undead turn three and let's see the outcome. Right guys. What was that? That was you were turn three, wasn't it? Yeah undead turn three. Undead turn three. And there's more chaos on the floor. There's still this guy down, it's not showing his backside anymore. It's not looking good, but the ball is in the middle of the pitch. So he's a fair game at the moment. So it's my turn three. Let's see what I can do. Right, guys, end of chaos turn three, going into undead turn four. Still all to play for. We've got a few people down. We've got a mummy having a breather. A few people take a rest. Here's the bane of my life by her because he couldn't tackle. So he's left a goal open. But there's a goal in the bin. Purple rain's dead. It's long purple rain. You will be the prince to all of us. It's undead turn four. Right guys, end of collective turn four because Griff's was so quick because of no rerolls and an attacker down. But yeah, it wasn't even funny for him. But it was my turn for, and I've managed to keep a few people down, make some room around the around the field. The guy with the ball is feeling the pressure, and the mummy has got a few friends around him. So we're going to be going into turn five and see what happens because I'm hoping I can force a fumble. End of Undead Turn 5, and not a lot has happened, except a ghoul tried to tackle my blocker, came off the worst of way, and ended up in the dead pile. So, unfortunately, his two fastest players are in the bin, so it's going to be a slow movement team now, so... Hopefully that gives me an advantage. So I'm going in turn 5 and see you on the other side. Right then guys, end of Chaos turn 5, which lasted all 10 seconds. Because, so I'm trying to be clever with the start off, even with an assist, couldn't get higher than a both down. Fortunately, Beastman next to him got the ball, but it's a turnover, so Griff's going to try and get the ball back. So, turn 6. Here we go. Right guys, end of turn six. As you could probably tell, we're both out of rerolls. So these are going a bit quicker. It's probably quicker than the way that you know, quicker than I can say what's happening. So nobody's moved there. We've got a few more people down. And the scrum. We've got a few more survivors of a scrum by you. I got to play it down, which caused a turnover. I got these two playing by that, but 
I got my boy, Dan Bugger. He's got the ball and he's starting to try and make a break for it. So, turn seven. I'm kind of hoping now that I can get a touchdown before the first, the first half is over. End of turn seven. A bit more eventful for chaos than it was undead. We've managed to cause a little bit of a gap by here to free up a runner. So hopefully, unless something magical happens, it'll be a touchdown soon. We've got Mummy down, a few players down, but with a good undead team, you can't keep a player down, can you? Joys of regen. So we're going into turn eight, and we'll see you on the other side. Turn eight, guys. Um, Griff, try to get less players to restart, but fortunately for me, you can break armor. So on my turn eight, we've got a touchdown. Dan Bugger, don't fail me now. So that was the end of turn eight and the first half. Griff, how do you feel the game had gone? Shockingly bad. <laughs> Shockingly bad. <laughs> Taking me eight turns to get one touchdown. So I don't think it's too bad. Still. We got a second half and we got to restart. restart. So it's I'm receiver now and we're going to have to redo the kickoff table. So it's still all to play for. Perhaps you'll have a better second half. It's shockingly bad for me because you took up two of my goals. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you bite. <laughs> right, second half. See you then. Right, second half. We've just set up. Um, ball is not far away. So hopefully I can go on the attack pretty quickly. Griff has gained an extra reroll, so he's up on three now. Same as me. So let's see what the shambling horde can do without the ghouls. Because they've been kicked in the ghoulies this uh, this half. Chaos turn one. We've got an asthmatic in the room. We've got a few let's players there. We've had a bit of a tussle in the middle. Tussle over this end. The scorer from the first half managed to throw a completed pass over to the beastman over here, but. We've got this guy in the background that's looking to uh, put a dampener on uh, things. So, undead turn one. Right, undead turn one. Unfortunately for Griff, it was a re-roll on a goal threat to be able to blitz this guy and only got a push. And then could not re-roll an attacker down in this circumstance. So it was a very quick turn, but... Let's see if I can mess it up. It's Chaos turn two. And yeah, see you on the other side. Right, end of Chaos turn two. Both players down by there, not even a re roll could save that. We're starting to get the bunches up. As we see by here, there's all bunching. There's another guy out running. Got one guy. Defending a down player and one guy near the touchdown area. So it's looking good for a chaos two pointer at the moment. Let's see what the undead can do. They see if they can take out enough players. End of undead turn two. Here's a little aerial shot. Trying to get fancy with the camera now. Can't do editing for shit, but I'm trying to get fancy. Right. What have we got? A few people down. Got it all gathering up. But he was unfortunate enough not to get in the way of the guy with the ball. So, Chaos turn three. Should I run it in quick or should I cause some damage first? Answers on the poll below. And in about ten seconds you'll probably see the correct result.
Right then, guys, end of chaos, turn three. What we got? We got a few players down. We got one player having a group hug. We got a mummy having a nap on, Mo on Mother's Day. We got this guy waiting to receive. But more importantly, we've got another touchdown. So let's restart, see what happens in Undead Turn 3. Right, guys, we've reset for Undead Turn 3. It's looking a bit aggressive both sides. I think Griff wants to uh, take out a few players. He wants to have some people rocking out to my knockout box. He managed to get an extra reroll, so it's 2 1 on the rerolls. So it's all in his favour. But. 2 0, and we're going to have a bit of fun. Let's go for it. Undead turn 3. Right, Undead turn 3. Been a bit unfortunate for Griff. Both down. He had a re roll, and he had double both down again. So we've not moved very far. But it's time for me to capitalise. Chaos turn four, and I got a big greedy. Try to take out a dummy on a one, uh, mummy on a one dice dummy. That's the way I've been fucking playing. Um, got a few players down, trying to get into a threatening position. We still only got three in the dead box. He's been lucky enough to get everyone with a regen. So it's still all to play for if we can get the almighty third touchdown or if Griff's going to get on the board. See you on the other side. Right guys, Undead turn four. And Griff has decided he wants to try and push my team past the touchdown line to make it easier for himself. He's coming out at me all guns blazing. So, he's got the ball over in this corner. i got a beastman down by there. And he has seen right through me on this one. So, my turn five. I've got to stop the assault. Right, Chaos, turn five. And I've done jack shit, except take myself out by there. Fortunately, Griff couldn't uh, get any higher than a stand. But, yeah, I'm still receiving it from uh, the undead. It's a, like a rotten cock. Right, turn five. And this little bugger let Griff down. But he is holding the line. So let's see what happens. Turn six, here we come. Chaos, turn six. It's getting very fast because there's no rerolls. This guy's down. Shut the fuck up, Griff. <laughs> this guy was put down. And then his bum's in the air. He's there to uh, be a pain when he wants to move. So, let's see what Griff can do turn six. A few moments later, in turn... What is it, six for you? No. Turn six. Uh, a little cushion in the pushing. And then we got two people enjoying the view up on the ceiling. So let's see what I can do with my turn seven. Chaos turn seven and here we go. We managed to take down the ball carrier. Thought we'd be clever by throwing the ball. But dance by her tried catching it with his teeth. So he failed, balls on by year. Down in Griff's half, so it's not where he wanted to be on the final throws of the game. But let's see what damage he can cause. See you at the end of turn 8. Right, end of Chaos turn 8, and we're going to call the game there. Because there's no point in restarting just for one turn. Because... We've got another touchdown. 3-0. So, final goals. Let's have a look. There's a lot of people down. 
there's three people in your dead pile. Nobody rocking out in the knockouts. Except for these two that have been useless the whole game. So, we will see you in the next video. Right then guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. 3-0 to Chaos. So, Griff is still on the losing streak where I thought Nuffle had left me. Nuffle came back. I forgive you this time, Nuffle. I forgive you. But, anyway, on a serious note, it was an excellent game. I want to say thank you to Griff for uh, agreeing to play me and agreeing to, for the uh, game to be uh, videoed as well. Otherwise, there would have been no content for this week. I'm stumbling over my words. I think another cup of tea is in order. Anyway, guys, at the end of the show, I want to say a big thank you to Griff. I want to say thank you again to the Run the Gaming Club for allowing us to host these videos. We will be doing an RBBL League. It's going to be a starter league. So if you were in the area and you were interested, please get in contact with them. Let them know that I've sent you and we will include you in all future games. If you want to start in the show and you're local, please drop by on a Sunday and we'll be able to video a game with you. Hopefully, you, hopefully I'll be able to play you or if you want to play Griff, you can play Griff. I'm sure he will agree to that. Anyway, before I go, I got the second lot of shilling to do. So, Chan's got a PayPal account, so in the link down below, we've got that, we've also got Patreon, so thank you in advance, if not, just enjoy the video, and thank you for watching the video. We've also got a Teespring account, so if you want to get your noob on, and show everyone that you were supporting the channel, We've got that. Go head over to Teesprings, type in Noob with Brush, and you will see us on the store. So, that's the shilling. I want to say thank you again for watching the video. Please share it amongst your friends or people that would laugh at two Welsh guys trying to play Bud Bowl. I can't even say it's alcohol related. That's how bad my rolling is because I am stone cold sober when I'm doing it. So, yeah, I haven't even got that to blame it on. So, anyway. I'm going to love you and leave you guys. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, I will get back to doing a weekend show as well. But content has been very scarce lately. So, I do apologise. Work has got on top of me as well. Um, I'm hoping to be doing live streams soon for Chaos Bane when that gets released. Because I'm trying to connect the PlayStation to OBS. So we'll try and get that done. I'm also going to be doing painting nights soon. So you can keep me company when I'm painting. Live streams will be notified in advance. Anyway guys. That's enough from me. You enjoy the rest of your day. And I shall see you in the next video. So long everybody.